Hello everybody. From the picture you can guess that what is today's topic. Yes, you are right. It's identification of the histological section of trachea. Regarding the contents, we have to study what is trachea, then histological section of trachea, then identifying characters of the histological section and lastly few references. So what is trachea? You can see that it is definitely a part of the respiratory system. The upper part of the trachea is attached with the larynx and this is the trachea, this circular ring part and uh, it is attached with the principal bronchus and the bronchi and after that we all know there is presence of lungs. So the trachea is also known as the windpipe which helps as the passage of the environmental air into the lungs and also uh, during the expiration it also helps to wash out the carbon dioxide and all which comes into the lungs from different organs of the body. So in this animation you can see how the inside part of the trachea looks like. It is just like a hollow pipe which helps the air to pass through. This is the function of the trachea. You can see that this is the lungs, this is the wine pipe or the trachea, water is entering, uh, sorry, air is entering, lungs is inflating and the air is expired and the lungs is not inflated. So the trachea or the wine pipe actually helps as the passage of the environmental air into the lungs and the air present in the lungs into the environment. Regarding the histological structure or the section, it is the transfer section. So we can see that uh, this is the main identifying character and this is known as tracheal cartilage or the hyaline cartilage. This is very important because this appears as a ring like substance. It's half U you can see. You can see. Then comes this epithelium. This is the epithelium and it is pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium with the goblet cells. So this is another very important identifying characters. You can see also tracheal glands. This is also very important. Then this muscles of the trachea. Then you can see that the ducts of the tracheal glands. These are the ducts of the tracheal glands. Then the mucous alveoli, the serous alveoli, etc. Once you have identified this hyaline cartilage and this pseudo stratified epithelium, be sure that you are identifying the histological section of trachea. Now the labeling you have to do definitely the tracheal cartilage, then uh, the perichondrium, then this pseudo stratified ciliated column, columnar with the uh, goblet cells, then serous alveoli, mucous alveoli, this muscle ducts of tracheal glands. That will be enough for leveling. So, regarding the identifying characters, you can see presence of U-shaped hyaline cartilage with incomplete rings, presence of mucous membrane lined with ciliated pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Hence, it is the transfer section of mammalian trachea and as it helps in the respiration it is under respiratory system.
So here are some ready references for your further study. Thank you very much for your patient listening. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to get the notifications of the daily uploaded new new educational videos. This series will continue to part 20. So long. Bye bye.